haven't done a PSVR video in quite a while. So whilst I was trying to think of ideas to make videos out of, I was wondering to myself, what are my go-to PSVR games? And you know, being a day one owner of PSVR, um, I of course have a decent collection of PSVR games physically and digitally. So you know, I, th I think I have a decent enough understanding of which games are good and bad on the PSVR for the most part. But anyway, yeah, let's get started with the top five go-to PSVR games. So at number five, we're starting off with a bit of an easy pick. I mean, most people probably already know about this game in general, and that is Skyrim VR. Not everyone will agree with this, but you've got to admit for an open world RPG on the PSVR, you can't really go wrong, even with it being in the state it is. I mean, it is basically the PS3 Skyrim in VR, so it isn't great in terms of graphics or anything like that. But what it offers is unique gameplay on the PSVR with a, a huge open world, like I said. It is restricted to first person view, but of course that makes a bit more sense in VR. You basically take on the form of the Dovahkiin, who's up there, I've got an action figure, oh yes, and it is your duty to fight off all the dragons in Skyrim, basically. I mean there's a bit more to it than that, but you know, if you want to have something like as epic as like Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings in PSVR, there's not really any other option other than this, and I think it's good considering we're only a few years into VR in general. It's not the best VR game. It just isn't. You never really feel like you're actually there, which is a bit of an issue when it comes to, you know, virtual reality. There's a lot of pop-in textures. If you look from the, the top of the mountain, for example, you will see a lot of mist as opposed to like being able to see the entire, you know, world, which is a bit disappointing, but you fight dragons. But at the end of the day, it is still one of the closest examples to a AAA open world title we've got on the PSVR, so make do with that what you wish. Up next we have a digital title which is The Invisible Hours. You can actually get this one physically just for you collectors out there that it is a thing. The Invisible Hours is actually one of the more intriguing narrative games I've come across on the PSVR. It's not one that actually a lot of people seem to talk about. It's a bit underappreciated in that sense. It plays out a bit like any other Agatha Christie sort of story you've ever heard, but it has a unique twist to the gameplay in that you, in a first person perspective, it puts you on board this island where everybody's gone to this mansion and there is just the typical, you know, oh, somebody's been killed, who done it, was it the butler sort of scenario going on. The intriguing thing about it though is because you have the ability to manipulate time, you can follow individual people at different times to get different sides of the story going on in real time and you can't actually affect the gameplay because you aren't actually a physical presence. There is a lot of really intriguing side stories going on, a lot of science fiction-y sort of things going on as well because it has different characters such as Thomas Edison. Yeah, and some other guys, I can't remember the names, but yeah, they have them. It's basically a game where you have to try and figure out who done it. There's no reward for finding that out. I mean, you can complete the game in one sitting without ever accomplishing anything, but that's not the point. It's more of an experience than anything and it's a bit more like a film where you just happen to be the camera and just be able to walk wherever you want. Honestly, it is one of the more unique and more entertaining VR games I've ever played, and I'd love to see another game similar to it, which I don't think there has been. Next up at number three, we have Eagle Flight. Now this was on one of my earlier lists, like a couple years ago of like, PSVR games you must buy. Again, it's a bit more of an underappreciated game in the PSVR, especially nowadays, but you play it as an eagle in an abandoned city of Paris mind you, Paris. And it's basically an open world game of that area where you get to just freely explore. In terms of gameplay, it has a really nice variation of levels with sort of a mini game sort of aesthetic to them. I mean, some of them are like, oh, you have to fly through hoops at a certain time and make sure you're doing it all correctly. And they have a lot of time trials as well. But you really start to feel like you're actually flying. And that's what you want in this sort of game. When you're seriously getting at those top speeds and you're flying through little gaps in buildings or like you're hovering right above the river line, it gets seriously intense. Seriously, it's an incredibly immersive game. Next up at number four, we're not actually doing this in any order, this is just kind of whatever. We have I Expect You To Die. And being a James Bond fan, I mean, I've got some James Bond cars right there. This is kind of something that I would like to see more of on the PSVR, being able to just be the spy and do spy stuff. The game is a bit more of a, an escape room scenario where you are placed into a room in first person again, and you've got a 
bunch of objects and things on the wall and such and you kind of have to figure out what's going on in a typical escape room fashion some levels literally do put you as a spy where you've got to actually figure out what's going on like there's a level where you play as a window cleaner and you've got to like infiltrate the building and do all your spy stuff or there's like the opening level is that you're in a car and there's an explosive in there and you have to find a way of getting it out of the car in time before blowing up really good game and last but not least we have our number five choice super hot VR. Another one that's great to show people if you're trying to, you know, validate your huge purchase of a new VR headset. Again, a bit of an obvious choice, but it's popular for a reason. I mean, if you've played it, you probably are already aware of why. But basically, you become John Wick and you're put into a matrix scenario where you control and manipulate time depending on how much you're moving and such. And you've got the guns and you've got to make sure you defeat every enemy in the room before they either get at you and like melee attack you or shoot you with a gun that, you know, you can do the whole matrix bullet time thing where you like jump out the way and such basically i i i refer to this as the ultimate keanu reeves simulator and this one is actually endlessly replayable. It is a bit on the short side if you, if you know what you're doing. But if you ever want to get to the level of like this kid, for example, doing that speed run, you've got to put a lot of time and effort into it. And believe me, this is one of the most fun VR titles I've come across. And I've played a lot of them, in my opinion. Again, there is a physical copy of this for you collectors out there. So there you have it. So yeah, that is the end of my video.